We have been watching the system for a couple of days in our forecast and now the time is here to where we have rain and snow not very far away just off towards our south, but many of us aren't going to get this. Well, we can call it a mess. There's a lot going on here. We have snow. We have a little bit of that wintry mix and then there's also some rainfall, but it's just kind of a boomerang and it's going to miss many of us, but still impact some of us. So here's the direction on the hour by hour forecast that we have the sun to start out our Sunday, but then those clouds from the system you can see start to move into our eastern counties. So here we are at eight o'clock. The snow just starting to roll in and it's going to be far east of 75 that we see kind of that bullseye of snow because we're going to be on the outer bands of that system, but it is still going to be bringing some of us snow, especially through Erie, Huron and Crawford counties and then if you're in Sandusky, Seneca and Wyandotte counties, you're going to have a chance for seeing some snow as well, but going to be on the lighter end of everything. Considering some of the pictures I've seen from the system where we've been talking multiple inches of snow, we're going to be very fortunate to not be on thankfully that high end. We will be seeing just those lighter accumulations, but thankfully everything starts to move out as we get settled into Monday. But the snow accumulations and what we're expecting if you're in the Toledo area, southeast Michigan or west of I-75, well, not a lot for you, but where we do anticipate that snow, we're going to be looking at about one to three inches heavier snowfall amounts towards Erie and Huron counties, and then it's going to be a sudden drop off in those snow totals as well. The further west you go. So of course, download the WTOL 11 weather app. We'll have updates there, but also you can use radar there to keep an eye where that heavy snowfall is. If you're headed up to Tecumseh later on today, while well, the ice sculpture festival is going on, temperatures will be a little bit warmer and we'll also have sun. I have to say that's perfect for viewing all the ice and taking in a lot of that winter fun that we have there. Our temperatures though, if you're headed out this morning, are a little bit cooler to say the least. We're sitting just into the double digits into the lower teens, but we do have 19 in Sandusky, 12 in Toledo and 12 in Bryan. Afternoon highs, those are going to be towards the freezing mark, but you will find here in your extended forecast some rain and snow showers and 20s back and also still more snow showers. No big snow, just a couple of rounds or at least a couple chances to see some snowflakes.